Well, hi there, and welcome back to Christopher's Corner. Today, I'm going to be discussing my opinion of the Prismacolor color pencils and the Castle Art color pencils. So if you'd like to see what I think about them and how I feel they work when you're coloring in a coloring book, stick around. Okay, so here are the Prisma colors that everyone raves about, and I really wanted to try them because I've heard so many great things about them. Although I've also heard very bad things about them, and I wanted to try them as opposed to the Castle Art uh, ones to see if there was a difference. So, um, the box is nice. It's a cardboard. It has a little magnetic closure thing there, which is nice. I like that. And of course, the colors look beautiful. But the minute I opened them, I was not impressed, and I'll tell you exactly why. Um, first of all, the trays are kind of a pain in the butt. But what surprised me was, and this is probably one that hasn't been used, uh, no, it has, but how blunt these are as opposed to the Castle Arts that were nicely sharp. The other thing too, and here's a great one if Storm can get a good close up of this, you will see that the core is not in the center. And that is a big complaint that many YouTube people have is that the core is not in the center. Now you're thinking, well, who cares? Well, the reason is, is that when you do sharpen it, you will end up like right here. There's gonna be more wood on this side than a core. And so when you sharpen it, whether it be electric or whatever, you're going to end up losing half of your, your actual core, which is the color. And so that's a waste of money. And these guys are actually famous for having a very bad make quality. Um, through Storm's um, suggestion, because I originally got the Prismacolor uh, sharpener, which I absolutely hate, uh, he said get an electric one, but to get it with, what is that called? Uh, helical wheels. But to get it with helical... Or helical blades. Helical blades, which is, hopefully you're seeing this, uh, instead of the usual sharpener look, which is, you know, like anything we used in school back in the old days. This one actually has a, uh, a, a round cylinder that spins around. I have found that that works fantastic for the Prisma colors. Okay, I just had one that was sharp. I was, oh, here we go. And as you can see from this one, that's how I was able to get it nicely sharpened. So can you see the difference here? I mean, come on, of course you can. <laughs> uh, so I find it much nicer. Now, a lot of people say, well, but that's gonna break. Well, no, it has not for me. I have a very heavy hand no matter how I use the pencil. I have not broken one cent at all, period. And so that was nice, but here are the colors that you get, because you get 150 of them, which is nice. And a lot of the colors are very bright and vibrant, and they jump out. Hopefully I'm not messing up and you're all able to see all of these. And you can see that I have used them because I wanted to give them a fair shot. And what I do like is it does have a couple of metallics. It has silver and gold. So um, immediately I was like, hmm, because the castle are uh, just, when you compare the pencils, and I'm not comparing the colors, so don't think, oh, you got the wrong color. Um, the First of all, you can see how much nicer the sharpness is on these. The um, castle arts, just look nicer. They just look classier. Uh, and yes, they do have a cover, but, and I've had someone say, well, then you don't know if that, well, no, you do, because when you sharpen them, you can see that there's no extra wood coming up, you know, like you do like here. See that? You don't see that on these. These are very much, so that tells you right there that the cores are more centered. But they're just nicer. I, it feels better in the hand. I don't know what the material is, but it's a better grip. And because it has a coating on it, a lot of people on YouTube, you will see that these will actually split. I have not found that. 
but you'll see on your, these how she will just split and open up. So for $89, I think that Prismacolors are highly overrated as a pair uh, compared to something like these that are fabulous, I think. For $37, that's a huge difference and it's just a nicer. The nicest thing about the uh, Prisma is they are open stock, which means that you can buy each pen pencil individually. Whereas if I use up all of this pencil, I then have to buy a whole new kit and the um, Castle Art. But I will also tell you this, Coloring with both, these last at least three times as long as these. I sharpen these constantly every time I would color anything, no matter how big or small. These not so much, but yet they feel very smooth in the hand and are very easy to use. And I really like them. I'm shocked, to be honest with you. I'm a newbie. Maybe in five years, if I continue to color and use things, then I'll say, you know what? Now I get the Prisma colors. Now I think they're great. But as a newbie, as maybe most of you are, the Castle Art is far superior in many ways. And I will shut this because I'm actually sending these back. I'm so not impressed. So this is the tin with the Castle Arts 120 premium soft touch colored pencils. That's very nice. Oh, castle. That's the back of the tin. Non-toxic. Then you open the tin to find out that they are invisible. Actually, they're not. But these stupid trays, I can't even get it out with nothing in them, are such a pain in the butt. Love the tin. I'll use this tin thing for something else. I'll put those in recycling. But what I bought was, on Amazon, I think I paid $17, these books, and I put the pencils in these books. These, by the way, are very nice little pencil books. It has a little pocket there. It has a little zipper on this end for all your supplies. And they hold, I think, 240 pencils or something. I don't know. And these are the pencils. I'm sure Storm's getting a good shot of them. They're nice to hold, as I said. I really like them very much, but I'm of course going to try other pencils to see which ones I end up loving the most. Over the next couple of years, because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna set, these are blending uh, pencils and stuff like that. Okay, so these are the ones, and you can see so many lovely colors to pick from. I wish they had more metallic colors, um, I do have another set I'll be reviewing later that has a shitload of metallic colors, and I like that. But unfortunately, this one doesn't have very many metallic colors. But they're really nice, and they range uh, so much. I've put them in a different order to kind of keep track of them. So some of them I've mixed up, and I apologize. But they're really nice, and I actually like these quite a bit. And... That's about it. So these are the Castle Arts in the little book that I got. Those are the colors you picked? Yeah, they are. Because I wanted to see how crazy you could get with colors. This side is with the Castle Art pencils. And I'll let you decide which ones you know. Now these, I forgive these. I was, I had pencils and I was just, I don't care, I just wanna see. I hadn't planned to show anybody how these, you know, work. And so I just did some scribbles. But these are the Castle Art picture, uh, I'm sorry, uh, pencils. Okay, this side, can you get that spot? This side is the Prismacolors. Now, I'll let you decide which ones you think look better. But personally, I think the Castle Art side looks better. And I really wanted to like the Prisma. I wanted to like them so much, I took the chance of spending $89 on them and got them through Amazon uh, because I wanted to like them so much. But for instance, do you see these little specks? Prisma colors, and it's not just me, I've watched really fabulous artists on YouTube videos. When you use the Prisma colors, they're so soft, which is a nice thing that little flakes chip off. And if you don't have a brush handy, I just grabbed these, yes, they're very, very girly, but these were just 
uh, because they were on sale for seven bucks and I just need a brush. So if you don't do this, every time you use the Prismacolor, you're gonna have little specks if I think Storm got a good close up there. And what happens is, is when you go over with another color to blend or whatever you're doing, you can see it, they just kind of get set into the paper and just ruin it as far as I'm concerned. Not that I'm any kind of artist and I know I'm not and I, this is just for fun, but you can see there's none over here. And I didn't even have to use the brushes over here. Uh, but you definitely see them over here in different aspects. So uh, even up here you can see. And um, as for blending, uh, I don't think Prismacolors are that great at blending. These I thought did fine. And of course I'm a newbie. So before you're yelling at me because you're, you know, been an artist for 30 years and stuff, just remember this video I'm doing just for newbies like me so that you can see what your choices are out there uh, when you're first beginning. And at this point, I do not think Prismacolors are worth the hype. Uh, if you're an art student and have been all your life or whatever, you, I'm sure you love these and can give me a hundred reasons why these are better. But as a newbie and someone who's just coloring in books, no, I don't think they are. Not for the cost. No way. So I'm sending the Prismas back. I'm keeping the Castle Arts. And maybe in five or ten years, if I'm still alive, and who the hell knows, I might have graduated to the Prisma colors and think they're fabulous. But at this point, no, they're not worth it. Okay, so there you have my opinions, my newbie opinions on um, colored pencils. Again, I'm a newbie. A year from now, I'm probably going to have a totally different uh, attitude about them. But until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. And of course, click the links below to support the Black Lives Matter movement. It's very important. And if you live in Georgia or have friends that live in Georgia, Please tell them to make sure they're still registered to vote because they've been purging the voter system, which means that people that just voted <laughs> are now unregistered and may have to re-register again for the special election coming up in January. I believe December 7th is the last day to re-register so they can vote in the January runoff. And that's so important because if Georgia could go completely blue, it would just be wonderful and we could just purge everything orange and red out. Um, make sure to wear your mask and stay safe, stay sane, stay healthy, stay happy, and until next time, happy coloring. Um, but anyway, now I have these pencils and if I like them, I will be able to crochet. I like the bag that it comes in here. It's, it's sealed for probably my protection and anyone else's. So the reason I got these is because I could not justify in any way, shape, or form spending $89 to $180, I think, uh, for pencils for something that I may hate to do. I may color one page and then say, I don't like this. I don't think that's going to happen, but these are normally, I think, $25, I think. It's all down below. Uh, but I got them on a lightning deal. It was funny as I was looking at them, it popped up and said, lightning deal. I got them for like $19, I think. I don't know. It'll be down on the screen and below because you know I never remember these things. What I also liked about them was that it comes in a carrying bag that's cloth. And of course, I love the color. It's here. Let me show you here. It's like trees with colorful silhouettes. Actually, I'm a liar. I think it's the moon in the background of the trees. Well, let's untie it and see what it looks like, shall we? So, here's the pencils. Oh my, this is never going to get all on camera. <laughs> and this fell out. But what I also liked about it was this comes with accessories. So this comes with a sharpener, which I didn't have a sharpener. So here it is. I'll probably get a better sharpener to be honest with you than this one but hey at least it came with one it comes with this which is when you and i had never thought about this till holly had told me when your pencil gets down to the nub like it's this you know you can put it in here and tighten it 
that just loosened it. You could put it in here. All right, let me do this on camera. You put your little nub of a pencil in here and you tighten it, if I'm doing it right. I think I am. All right, you put your nub in there and then it makes it a pencil size again so you can draw, or not draw, but color. Um, I haven't figured out quite how it works, so bear with me. And it also came with an eraser so that if you go outside the lines or make a little mistake, you don't get yelled at by your family like mine used to do when I was a kid and I colored and I'd go outside the line accidentally. That was a huge uh, crime in my family, but my family were horrible, terrible, awful people. Okay, so with the pencil, I didn't bring the coloring book in. Forgive me, that was stupid, but um, you just, you color. And I just wanted to see how this feels. And it feels very good, actually. Let's try a different color. And I also ordered some blending uh, sticks. <clears throat> Hopefully you're seeing this. I like the way that the pencils have what they are. It has the number of the pencil. Uh, what I did learn from Holly is when you do order a pencil, you want to try to get a set that is open market. No, open stock because that way if you need a certain color, like the number that's on this pencil, you can order individually. Unfortunately, most of them come that are not open stock, which means if I want this color, I have to buy the whole kit again. Um, that's a pain in the fucking ass. But what are you gonna do? So, but to start out, I wanted to get these. So here we go, let's got the green now. Now I am not an expert. I don't know how to blend yet. So bear with me, and I'm hardly pressing down at all, and we've got some nice color going on there. Hopefully you've seen it. I like the way it looks. And then if you press harder, I don't wanna break it, you get a deeper, darker color. But again, I'm trying to be careful. I have a heavy hand when it comes to holding pencils or writing, but um, nice tips on them. And I like the way, hopefully, this is showing on camera, that this goes inside uh, with the tips down here in the protective area. Uh, so they're protected a bit. And I like this case. The only concern I have is will these fall out easily because some of them are trying to fall out already. Nice array of colors. You can get a little books that all your pencils go into and then that zips up and they hold them better, kind of like you would for your knitting needles. I'll try to turn this over if I can, so we can see what this looks like. Uh, I thought the colorful uh, would be better. But yes, it's the moon, and there's a tree branch. Looks like it might have been a fallen tree, but I thought it was quite pretty. And then you just roll this up, Hopefully demonstrating here and don't have to film separately later and you just roll it up and then bring this around a little snug but not enough to break them and then just tuck it in just like that and there we go so those are the pencils what I also got because Holly who fluffy and the witch who has been coloring for a little while now and is fabulous at it. Said to get these and so I did. And these were on sale for seven bucks. I grabbed them because unless I decide to start wearing makeup and I probably should because I see myself in these videos and go. <laughs> um, these are seven dollars so I grabbed them. They are makeup brushes and I have to tell you for seven dollars these are quite nice. I thought I was going to end up with little tiny nubby ones or something, but these are quite nice. And I thought they were neat because they were pastel pretty little colors. But apparently what you want to do, oh, I love this. This is supposed to be a unicorn. Isn't that awesome? It feels so good in the hand too. Maybe I will start wearing makeup. Who's to say? And you get quite a selection of them. 
and these are a lightning deal for seven something. I'll have all the information down below. But the reason you get them is after you've colored for a while, apparently little flakes of your pencil can get on the page. And if you wipe it with your hand, all that color smears into the picture you've been working on. So what you want to do is brush those off. So when you're done coloring, in fact, I just saw one leave. So yes, you just brush the page like this and or like this, however you want to do it and get the extra little fibers of the pencil off so that you can do that and it doesn't ruin what you've just been drawing.